Welcome back. This is Kinema, and you're watching another Minecraft Let's Play. And um, last episode, we talked about the uh, future plans on trying to figure out exactly what we're what we're doing. So I think this episode we may actually uh, start some of those plans. And let me get some stuff together. See what all materials I have, and uh, we'll get started. So, um, basically, recording this one right back to against the other one. So, um, I haven't had too much time to plan, but I have a kind of an idea of what I want, and I really should go through my. <laughs> I really should go through and clean up all this stuff. Um, yeah, may have to uh, put some stuff on hold. <laughs> Just looking through these to see exactly what all I have. Trying to, if I have stone already or bricks already made try to do that um, but that. this is lagging kind of a little bit uh, I'm actually rendering the last video right now um, hopefully it comes out comes out okay uh, I'm trying to see if I can do this kind of back to back to get a feel for you know doing that recording Okay, well, he has 64 of those. That, that works. Um, get more slabs, more bricks, and a little bit more granite. That may be enough of that. Uh, get some andesite. Go ahead and just grab a stack of that since it's already done. And I don't think I'll need four stacks of andesite. I don't plan on using that much. Um, so I'm grabbing certain materials because I do have a basic idea. Um, of what I want so and the reason why is I'm actually sticking with a I want to stick with a very similar design that you know I want to make most of my things in my base kind of look pretty uniform so um, so that includes you know between uh, all my my bases um, up above ground and below and um, I think I'll start with that see if that's going to be enough if enough stairs um, if not may have to do something else so let's come down here so my uh, my thought process and kind of explain once I get down here okay so my thought process, I'm gonna have the same same type of design just patterned throughout each corner. And let's check this real quick. Uh, not much, just got back in it. Um, so with that being said, um, basically I need to do something with that. And if you can't see what I'm pointing at, it's my ladder going up. So can't do it in the center because of this. I'm going to have all the mob farms and everything kind of go um, right around it. The other farms on the side. So the corner towers that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to have it just go up that tower. Uh, have basically ladders or possibly some type of elevator. Um, 
in each corner probably to start with until I get when I start getting into more and more redstone I'm probably going to need tons of iron so and I don't really just I don't really have it so uh, I guess to start with I'll take out a bunch of this stuff you know what this is going to be in the way I think this was for my uh, melon farm. I'm going to need to repair this pickaxe soon too. Good old stone stone brick. Uh, use them in just about everything and but they work I mean get a little bit of space here Now, I'm not going to do all of this on camera. Um, I have something in my in my mind right now, so that's why I'm just building it while uh, while on camera. And but you know that that may may change um, once I start the design. So. I may change this up. I don't know. Uh, got something in my my head, but. Keep an axe on me. <clears throat> Not sure whether to go around it or keep it. I'll try that. Um, so this is kind of just a starting shape. Torches on there. I'm going to try to use stone blocks anywhere that I don't need to uh, um, use materials. See, this room will be completely granite.
Okay. Um, apparently I can't build and try to narrate or talk at the same time. <laughs> so sorry about that. Go ahead and get another torch there. Well, I may need another one. Hate to build all this and a creeper come and blow it up. So that was kind of my thought process. It's, it's pretty basic. Um, kind of mirroring. Oh, sorry, hit the mic. Uh, kind of mirroring a little bit of what I had up, up stop with the um, granite steps and uh, the stone uh, slabs in front of it. And in the site kind of gives a clean looking pillar. Uh, and then of course the dark oak. So and I figured I would do that to start with. And then um, come out. Um, oh. Probably come out a little little ways. Um, And I just want to share what I'm doing here, and then uh, I'm probably going to switch and do some stuff off camera, uh, play around with it, maybe change some things up. But um, um, no. Kind of get a little bit of an idea of what I was doing. I don't want it just to be a plain wall. Um, I think sometimes that can be a little, little boring if it's just a plain, plain wall. So I wanted to add some type of design, and that's kind of the look I was going for. Um, something it needs it needs something but um uh, I don't have any water so this was kind of my thought I'm gonna just skip some you'll come in here um, there'll be a ladder on one side climb up to the top and maybe some uh, yeah something like this across here yeah. so you can you can actually use these and it powers this block which would essentially power um, an adjacent block and power these stones they don't have to be exactly on them are the uh, redstone lamps and okay so that gets a little bit of a little bit of light so I really got to play around figure exactly what I want but that's kind of it's kind of what I had in mind actually I like that um, yeah, so I'll find a way to make it more of a set pattern to go down the side. I figured what I'm going to do is build out each one of these. This is not a complete square. There's a couple sides I kind of goofed on whenever I was measuring it out. And that's actually why I have these um, stone half slabs. You can see these uh, mark out every five. So this is 20, 21. And over here... Um, this is 20, 21, and then 22. So unfortunately, 
I made this room a little bit longer than, than it is wide. And so it's got to watch out when I'm doing these walls. So I figured what I'd do is start this structure, go ahead and put it on that corner, that corner, and the other corner as well. Get up to a certain height. And the nice thing about having the stairs in here is I can, you know, get to a certain height, climb up the stairs, and, um, yeah, then uh, I can just continue working around. So I'm going to go ahead and play with this design a little bit, get something. I really like this, actually. I don't really want to change too much, but I may go ahead and try to build a second layer. Um, yeah, I'll try to build a second layer on this one, and then kind of continue these walls on around. And uh, I'll probably try to get all four corners in. And if I can do that um, with two layers, I'll see um, see what I can get done. I mean, um, I've already cleared out this room, took up an awful lot of time. But um, let me see about getting that done, and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. This is... Uh, you know, I started doing the design of this corner when I first uh, did the cut. And I must say that was probably a good um, four to five hours, if not longer. So, if we turn around here, got all the walls in. So, I still need to go up higher and figure out what I'm going to do to continue the pattern upwards. I do kind of want to change it a little bit from this, but as far as the first two levels, I'm extremely happy with it. So if we take a look, they use the granite back there, you can hardly tell, but it does give a little bit of a texture behind the water to tell that the block is different. Then you got the new uh, andesite and then the granite, and then each corner has my stairway going up light reduce spawns and then light kind of keep the edges eliminated so uh, eventually i would like to remove all torches so that's kind of my main goal um but yeah so um i'm not sure about doing multiple i was going to do four spawner platforms all the way up i may stick with only the two for right now one on that side and one over here and keep these areas kind of open. I don't know, we'll measure this back out whenever. Uh, I may change my mind, so we'll see. So, um, but I am still gonna do my melon farm, so um, maybe it's better to keep some of this open to have the towers going up. So this is going to actually turn in, I'm going to kind of decorate this a little bit, do some, uh, this has been my mine shaft, and where I've, I got a lot of my starting materials. Also put a uh, infinite water spring here that I used to, the water for the traps and for my uh, little waterfalls. So um, that's going to be probably about it for this episode. Uh, I've done tons of off-camera work. I'm going to try to get, probably I wanted to get a good foundation set up. And now that I got that, I feel that I'm, I'm at the point where I can start working on some of these farms. And try to get a little bit more uh, recording on camera. Uh, or a little bit more recording time other than just uh, doing tons of off-camera work. May slow it down, do some some more exploring. Um, but I don't know. Let me know. I'd be very curious to hear what uh, you know, um, what everybody thinks that's watching my videos. And I'm hoping that y'all are enjoying the series so far. I'm having a blast with 1.8. Uh, the new, all the new stuff. It's uh, um, I definitely enjoy it. You know, the, the new building materials is pretty awesome. The changing to uh, enchanting. Um, oh, uh, real quick. My um, port, to, or my ladder to get down here has moved. And I don't think I, don't think I mentioned this. 
you actually have to come up here and then come over here. I went ahead and just tried to get it cleaned up. So that's going to do it. Um, thank you for watching. If you uh, liked the video, please leave a like. Um, if you uh, did like the video, you know, I uh, would like to know why. Get a little bit of feedback. Um, but yeah, this is Kinema, and I guess I will talk to y'all later.